airplanes that you can purchase off the internet. As you see, I actually printed out four per page so that I could print out all this pertinent information. And uh, basically steps through how to build a go-kart and uh, step by step. Each page shows the processes of how to put it together and so forth. And um, it amounts to being about 98 pages worth of stuff. Uh, it sounds like a lot. Like, oh wow. But this part right here is the first part is just how to put it together, kind of texturing. This section is the prints section where it shows you the dimensions of every part. It labels each part number with a there's a numbering listing and, and each tube actually has a part number to it so then what you'll see is an overall layout right here a top layout right here and uh, the roll bar layout then on the next page uh, oh, looks like I was having some printer trouble so anyway uh, the next page shows the overall layout and then it starts going through the piece parts and they're labeled this is tube number one two two three and so forth and so what we're going to do is use each part we're going to figure we had figured that out yesterday we use this uh, particular print which is basically a glorified version of the go-kart prints and then we figured out on the page because we had one two three four five six and actually seven tubes that we were going to cut up. And we had actually a smaller piece that we're going to use as well. We're going to cut that too. So what we're going to do now is take our prints. We're going to go out to the, uh, the garage and set up the tubes. We're going to mark each tube before we cut it with all the, with the specific lengths that we uh, need for the go-kart.